Good afternoon to all. I'm Harjot. I'm from group six. She is Kiran. She's from group three. We have merged our companies, aluminium and zinc care batteries. So today we are going to discuss about today we are going to discuss about background of battery, how it uh, it performs, um, then introduction of both aluminium and zinc care batteries. Workflow, expectation for this reality, batteries, cell setup, corrosion of aluminium plate, our results and our confusion, challenges, and our future aspects. Uh, as we know, the demand of energy storage system is increasing day by day, but nowadays, lithium ion batteries are more preferable as compared to aluminium and zinc air batteries because of its high energy density as compared to other energy storage systems. Uh, lithium ion technology but suffer from, like, uh, it has some limitations. Uh, it is sensitive <coughs> to temperature, uh, it's a high cost and it's safety risk. Uh, it lasts only for three to four years after the manufacturing. So our group mainly focused on uh, to improving the uh, life cycle of the battery. zinc and aluminum air batteries which we are working on, they have the potential to overcome uh, these issues. Uh, first of all, they have a high energy density as compared to the currently preferred lithium ion batteries. In case of zinc, the energy dense, uh, the theoretical energy density is 1350 watt hour per kg. And in case of aluminum, it is 8100 watt hour per kg. In, in case of cost as well, the zinc and aluminum air batteries are cheaper compared to the lithium ion batteries. They are environment friendly and they don't possess any safety issues. Uh, but also, uh, the zinc and aluminum air batteries also uh, suffer from some uh, limitations. Uh, they, they have poor life cycle uh, and the energy density that we get in our experiments is very less uh, as compared to the theoretical energy density. So in our project, we are uh, working on testing the battery performance using different electrolyte solution at uh, different concentrations to see uh, which electrolyte uh, works best for the battery. Um, why uh, our project is of interest? Um, first of all, the, the lithium ion batteries uh, that are currently available, uh, they are facing uh, the supply issues. The, the both zinc and aluminum air batteries are present in abundance. So in case of uh, zinc and aluminum air batteries, um, there will be no uh, shortage of raw material. The, uh, the lithium ion batteries, they possess uh, some hazards to the environment, the oxides that are uh, produced in the lithium ion batteries, uh, they are uh, toxic to both uh, soil and the water. Uh, they also have uh, some overheating issues and uh, they can be explosive. So due to all these factors, uh, lithium ion zinc air batteries uh, <coughs> are in great place in, in the energy system. The next slide will be continued by Yash and so, in the aluminum air battery, aluminum works as an anode and air is work as a cathode, and which is a separator between the aluminum and air. And this is the anode reaction. Aluminum lays the, like lose the electrons while oxygen gains an electron, and the total reaction, the Terence reaction, is below that. So, I'm going to explain about the zinc air battery. So we are taking zinc as one electrode and then we are taking a steel mesh incorporated with graphene that is uh, taken as another electrode. It is a porous electrode so there is uh, a great amount of oxygen reaction can happen in this electrode. So uh, how the, uh, so we, can, we knew that uh, electricity is uh, generated by uh, migration of electrons from one electrode to another. So here electricity is generated by the four electrons that is uh, produced from the oxygen. Oxygen has the outermost layer four electrodes. So that is uh, uh, that is uh, transferred from the electrode to the 
zinc, uh, zinc electrode and uh, a zincate ion is generated. Uh, but there is a parasitic reaction that is there is an undesirable reaction can happen because zinc electrode are immersed into a chaotic solution and it can produce zinc hydroxide which is an undesirable product and it can affect the lifespan of the battery. So with the workflow, uh, we, we did our project in total 5 phase. The first phase is electrolyte, electrolyte solution making. In, in that, we made a uh, different type of solution like 2 molar, 4 molar and 6 molar NUH and UH solution. And for NACL, we made 2 molar and 4 molar NACL solution. Because in the, uh, for the NACL, 6 molar NACL solution is not like uh, we can't make it because uh, it is saturated at some, at some point and some NACL raised remain in the solution. So for NACL, we made only 2 molar and 4 molar solution. And this uh, electrolyte solution we have tested the, for conductivity but using EC meter, that is electrical conducting meter. After that we made electrode, uh, we used steel mesh, uh, we cut it down in 4, four by 4 cm and we paint a graphite or graphite layer on the steel mesh and we use that uh, as an air, air electrode. And then uh, these electrodes were set up into a battery and the data was analyzed for different concentration and voltage, current, power and time was recorded. Uh, after that we did documentation, uh, we did our like uh, all the, uh, what we did, we write down all the things, we write down all the data and uh, we made graph that will later on we, you will see that. Uh, it's an expectation versus reality. At the, at the, when we made a UI, like a general UI of the batteries, we expected like we can get, we can get 100% energy density with aluminum and zinc battery. Uh, but uh, we can uh, we achieved only 25 percentage of the light, uh, battery uh, the density energy density. Uh, at the starting we we expected that like uh, we can get better life better lifespan as compared to the lithium and nickel batteries. Uh, but we only got the maximum lifespan of three minutes for the batteries. And we also expected that we can reduce the uh, like uh, corrosion uh, or corrosion of aluminum and zinc. Like uh, we can reduce zinc oxide corrosion and aluminum oxide corrosion. But uh, using these membranes for uh, uh, reducing the corrosion was uh, for only for some extent. Uh, we we wanted to use cellulose and polypropylene membrane as a separator layer, uh, like a membrane. But uh, we found out that cellulose was more better than polypropylene membrane because. Uh, uh, poly, as we know that polypropylene membrane has many disadvantages. One, does, uh, one disadvantage is that it is hydrophobic, which uh, reduces the movement of electrons from one electrode to another. So we found out that cellulose was more better. Uh, after completing data with two molar, four molar, and six molar NaOH, KOH, and four molar and two molar with NaCl, we we wanted to do with uh, like a mixture of NaOH and KOH mixture. Uh, we wanted to take reading uh, with the mixture of NaOH and KOH. Uh, but it was having a better hold up, but it was generating only less power. And we also wanted to uh, to do testing with the additives, like with ad adding additives in the electrolyte solution, like acetic acid and any other. Uh, but this, uh, this uh, addition of additive we couldn't do because of the lack of time. Now next will be explained by Vishal and Mahesh. So this is the part where our experimentation and that 